Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on fee video of the Nike Air Max Hyperposites. As you can see, it comes in the orange Nike Performance box. I'll give you a quick look at the label here Air Max Hyperposite, size 9.5 US, and the official colorway is charcoal, atomic green, and black. So I'll get these shoes out of the box so you can get a good look at them. This is one of those shoes that recently released from Nike that hasn't been selling all that well. Not because I don't think it's a bad performing basketball shoe, because this is a performance model. Um, I think the retail price is too high. It retails at $225 US, which is by far the most expensive uh, kind of in-line performance model. That's not a signature model that Nike currently makes. And I think it's a good shoe. I think more people would give it a try. It's just $225 seems like a lot of money to pay. Uh, that doesn't have a signature name to it. It's not a LeBron, it's not a Kobe, it's not a KD. And while that might not seem like much, it's really just some branding on the shoe. It does make a big difference as far as um, kind of determining how much the shoe will sell. Because I'm sure if you put LeBron's name on this, it would be uh, kind of flying off of the shelves, if you will. As far as the shoe itself goes, I'm very, very happy I was able to get a pair below that $225 retail price. That's just kind of crazy. And uh, I will have buy it now links to pick these up for yourself at below retail if you do want to pick up a pair for yourself. On the review page on my website, you'll find a direct link down below in the description. Really big fan of this shoe. Um, probably won't use it as a performance model, but I'm just a big fan of how it looks in general. That foam posit material just really gives the shoe such a unique, spacey look. Very modern looking basketball shoe. And it's actually very, very comfortable as well, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the on feet portion of this video. As far as the hyperposite name, the name basically is kind of describing what materials are used on the shoe itself. And that is hyper, which stands for hyper fuse on the upper itself. And then uh, posit, which stands for foam posit, which is that foam posit material you can see running along the outside. If we start off with the colorway itself, the colorway is mainly gray and atomic green. There is actually no black on the shoe at all, like the name or the colorway name suggests. It's pretty much all that gray or charcoal color with atomic green. And even the atomic green, green definitely looks a lot more like Volt in person than it does like atomic green, especially the outsole, as you guys can see. Um, definitely more of a yellow than a green in person anyways. Uh, but not as bright as I expected it to be. And I really like the look of this foam posit material in gray, which kind of has like a metallic shine to it. Almost looks like metal in person, which I think looks really, really unique. As far as the materials on the upper itself go, we'll start off with the foam posit material, which spans pretty much all the way around the upper. The only place where you're not gonna find foam posit is gonna be right here on the instep. So it starts here and at basically the inside of the forefoot, runs all the way around. You have your one Nike swoosh in atomic green, goes all the way around the toe box, goes all the way along the outside of the shoe. And then of course, around the ankle area, um, going up kind of halfway up, you have all this foam posit material going around the back of the heel. Again, another big Nike swoosh. Those are the only two swooshes you're gonna find on the upper. And then of course it goes up the side as well, just to support you on both the inside and outside there. And this foam posit material is really, really solid. Um, it's I believe this is the first modern um, implementation of foam posit that actually features a full length 360 degree air unit as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. I can't think of any other shoes that have featured foam posit and an air unit that's full length. Um, so if you do know that answer, go ahead and leave that question that down below in the comments, but I think I'm right there. And then as far as the upper itself goes, of course it is all that fused material. You have a little bit of ventilation here on the outside and inside of the shoe and it is that kind of plastic fuse material all the way on the tongue as well again a couple little spots there for ventilation and mesh and then of course you do have that hyperposite logo on there which i think looks really cool you have that like matching waviness or fingerprint look to it that you're going to find on the foam posit material itself as well as the bottom of the outsole as far as the liner goes it is that charcoal gray and then the insole itself is that atomic green color or volt with all kinds of different logos on there kind of talking about the performance features of the shoe itself. As far as the midsole goes, you're gonna see you have a gray midsole made of a Phylon foam with that Max Air logo right there on the back of the heel. And then the majority of the midsole is that air unit. It's a basketball specific 360 degree air unit with that atomic green bubble on there. You can see right through it. Very cool, I love the look of the Air Max unit. And as far as basketball air units go, it's a little bit stiffer than what you're gonna find on like a runner air unit, like the Air Max 2013, for example. As far as the outsole itself is concerned, it is kind of like that atomic green color. You have 
almost what looks like a foot map pattern on the bottom there. It's kind of all different kind of wavy designs, no particular order to it. Somewhat herringbone like as you guys can see there, but for the most part it's kind of like a, a unique pattern altogether. You have a little bit of phylon foam running through the heel there in gray. And then of course you do have your one gray Nike swoosh there. And because it is somewhat translucent, you can see some of the air unit peeking through at the bottom if you guys can see that on camera. Kind of a cool little touch there. For the most part, really happy with how this shoe looks. And uh, people were saying that it's kind of heavy. I didn't think it's heavy at all. It has a listed weight of like 16.9 ounces, which seems really heavy, but in person, at least in a size 9.5, that's obviously not too big of a shoe. It feels pretty lightweight in my opinion. So that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion goes. And we'll move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look. All right, here's a look at the Hyperposites on feet while wearing a pair of shorts laced up two different ways so you can see what they look like. I think they look good either way, but they definitely feel a lot better with the shoes laced up normally as opposed to just left undone. As far as wearing these with a pair of shorts, they definitely look okay. They're a pair of basketball shoes, but they do have a little bit of bulk to them. So if you're okay with that, you're gonna like the way that these look, but if you don't want too bulky of a shoe, then you might wanna stay away from this particular model or any of the foam posit models for that matter. That's pretty much it as far as what they look like with a pair of shorts. And we'll move on to what they look like next with a pair of pants. With a pair of pants, these shoes look great in my opinion. This is a pair of shoes that I would probably wear mostly with sweatpants as opposed to a pair of jeans as far as casual wear goes. But if you did want to wear them with jeans, you definitely can get away with that. It's not going to be an issue. As far as the overall comfort of the shoes, it is a foam posit model, so it does require a little bit of break-in. It feels kind of tight at first, especially if you do buy them true to size. They have that tighter fit about them. So if you don't really intend to wear them as performance shoes ever in your life, or you just don't want your shoes to fit too tight, I definitely recommend going up half a size for the most comfortable fit. Just to give you guys a quick look at the details on these shoes, because they are really cool in person. The colorway looks a lot different, especially this one in person than the other um, colorways. It kind of has like a metallic shine to it that you can't really see in the online photos. Hopefully you'll be able to see that in this video. But that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of this video goes. And we'll move on to my final thoughts. All right guys, that's it for my review plus on feet video of the Nike Air Max Hyperposit. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in picking up a pair of these for yourself under retail, I will have buy it now links on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. You're also gonna find the high quality images of this exact pair here to give you a better idea of what the shoe looks like on that exact same review page. As far as any questions you guys have regarding this shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you love it, let me know if you hate it. And if you have any other suggestions for shoes you would like to see me bring in, again, just leave a comment down below and I definitely will look into it. If you guys could leave a like on the video as well, it would be greatly appreciated. If you did enjoy today's sneaker review video and you would like to see more like this, as well as other lifestyle gear reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button on Vujo Josh 2 if you're not subscribed already. And if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram account name is Vujo Josh. Just like this channel name, minus a two, you can go ahead and look me up. Or again, the link can be found down below in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.